D-Lo 404 Boxing. All right, y'all got to come on in here and give Canelo Alvarez his credit. First ever undisputed champion at 168 pounds in the four belt era. First ever undisputed uh, Mexican champion, um, from my understanding. Um, it's, I know he is in the four belt era for sure. Um, definitely the first Mexican undisputed champion at 168. Got to give Canelo Alvarez his props. I said Caleb Plant coming into this fight was not coming off a long layoff. He was not um, a guy coming in off of a bad performance, having been, you know, um, been, you know what I'm saying, in a fight in which he barely won or got a gift decision like Calvin Smith. He wasn't a guy who just picked up a, a vacant belt after the real champion moved up out of the weight division like Billy Joe Saunders. You know what I'm saying? Caleb Plant was the real deal. And I picked Caleb Plant to win the fight via uh, split decision, majority decision, one of them. I definitely expected him to go to full 12. Um, Caleb Plant messed around and got caught complaining to the referee instead of doing his job and uh, <laughs> to protect yourself at all times. Not saying that it was a sneak shot, but I think his focus was more on his complaining and less on what his opponent was had in store for him. And Canelo Alvarez, being the seasoned veteran that he is, and the, um, the the fighter that he is took advantage of that and got the job done. But before that, you know, Canelo Alvarez was giving as good as he was getting in that fight. I felt like um, there were quite a few rounds that were swing rounds. But I did see that Showtime had, had uh, Canelo up big. I didn't agree with that. But at the end of the day, when you get the stoppage, you take the judges out of the equation. You know what I'm saying? We can't talk about no robbery. We can't complain about no uh, gift decision. We can't complain about favoritism. None of that stuff. Canelo Alvarez went out there and did what he said he was going to do. He went out there and got his stoppage. He said he was going to show uh, Caleb Plant that it was something different. And um, I guess he was because Caleb Plant was not um, able to go the distance. He was not able to get the win. He was not able to become undisputed. And he was not able to beat Canelo Alvarez. So I got to give up the props to Canelo Alvarez for doing what I said he wouldn't do. Um, so I'm going to eat a big, fat, nice plate of crow. And I'm going to give Canelo give Canelo his just due. Um, I got to say, you know what I'm saying, Canelo Alvarez right now is uh, one of the best in the business. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he, he, keep, he went out there and he, he did, you know what I'm saying, what a lot of people felt like he would do. I just wasn't one of those people. Um, the odds were the odds for a good reason, but I still felt like Caleb Plant was uh, a, a, a step above these other guys that he fought at uh, super middleweight. But be that as it may, Caleb Plant couldn't go to full 12 that Calvin Smith was able to do. But Caleb Plant was not did, did not fight the fight that Calvin Smith fought. Caleb Plant was there to win. Caleb Plant fought a fight. He was trying to get at Canelo. He was trying to he was trying to take it from you know take the title from Canelo, and uh, and trying to do so. We saw how it come came up. So uh, much respect to both guys. I don't want to take away from Caleb Plant and uh, act like you know he didn't he didn't give a good representation of himself. But at the end of the day, he came up short. So this is Canelo's night. Canelo got the win, and uh, you know to the victor go the spoils. Much respect to Canelo Alvarez, the undisputed champion at 168 pounds. Let's see what's next for Canelo. Let's see what's next for Caleb Plant. That's all I got on it. Let me go get on this plate of crow. I'm out. Peace.